Ooh, welcome back, you guys. My name is Game Boy, and today's game we're gonna be playing. It's called Little Bit Planet 2, and we're in Eve's Asylum. And I do not know what I'm gonna be doing here. I do know that I'm trying to save someone. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing, but saving someone is a clue of what I'm gonna be doing. I don't know what, but let's just see what's going on because apparently something happened and someone is mind controlled. I'm not really sure, but. Sure, why not? Sure. Mind control is, I guess, a thing in this game, and the levels take forever to load in this game. I don't like it, but whatever, at least they do at least load. Negativitron Diablo attacks us from the sky! You must help me. The meanies are already finding their way into the chakras of my tree. Is that bad? He is the worst. The auras of the asylum cannot resist their Negativitron forever. The tree and the patients, they need me. They are nothing without my care. Without my love. No. All right. Well, we're just here for Dr. Riggenbotham. Oh, gracias a Dios. Now there is a man who needs help. He's eaten everybody's socks. He keeps trying to lick his own eyes. And now, now this. You'll have to help me first if you want it. It will make you so warm and glowy. Not cold. Gloomy and dead inside. Oh, I promise you that, Gallander Man. Of course, so I'm guessing you're Eve and everything. Okay, I'm resetting, I'm resetting, I'm resetting because I could do better with that. I could do better and I don't want to just like die or have to reset my um, character just because of a stupid mistake. Anything up here? Anything? Want to make sure? Just really do not want to... Okay, can, can I do this? So, if it... So it's inevitable if I go that way that I'm gonna have to reset because it's gonna send me into the background even though I don't want it to be sending me into the background. Of course. <sighs> of course, it, it is a thing like that. Oh! Um. Okay, so I'm replaying because I did not realize that this was gonna happen. So, basically, I only get to do... Okay, okay, I see. So, by going down on the... So, I'm supposed to do this multiple times and everything. And this is basically meant for multiplayer because... If I don't have multiplayer, I'm not going to get every bubble the first time and everything. Makes sense. And I'm glad that there are still these writable stuff, but... And everything, but I don't really particularly like them like I like the last one and I'm guessing that I'm gonna be liking this one because I'm having some fun with it but I don't know how annoying it's gonna be if it's gonna at all be annoying because I don't like when they just become annoying for no reason and yeah oh okay so that's where I come out from okay so I have to watch it So, I just keep going up, it seems like, like I, it feels like I'm climbing a great tree to do something, like I know I'm supposed to take out the, the villain and everything, 
but I'm gonna guess that once I take out the villain, I'm gonna be able to save the person I'm trying to save and everything. I'm going to guess, but I'm not really sure. But I want to be doing this the first time, not having to actually have to reset this whole path like thing. Like I know I'm going up and everything, but I hope I don't have to like restart this level just because I lost all my lives just because. Grab the key. Thank you. That could have been dangerous. That could have been very dangerous. But I'm glad it wasn't. And yeah, I just took the wrong path again. Took the wrong path. Need to remember. Some paths have more bubbles than others. And I need to remember that. And I need to also remember that if I get trapped, I'm going to have to go and come back. Okay, so yeah, he calendar man still doesn't want to go and work with us and Okay, so that that was the level that was short sweet and to the point apparently I Liked it because it did not take too long now I just come back repeatedly try to get all the prize levels and then I have everything done cool short sweet level like those I still don't know why Clive is acting the way that they're acting, but whatever. And I do have an apple. Is this the right apple that I need? Okay, so it's not the right apple. This? Okay, so I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna get the right sticker at the end and everything. I'm going to guess. Not really sure, but it feels like that. Yeah, it, it's gonna keep saying, no, I'm not allowed to... First of all, want to do this correctly. Need the light to make sure that I can... Okay. So fast and steady, I can then do this. If I... Eh, almost did something that I would have regretted if I did this incorrectly. Okay. Still have no idea why there's firebugs here. Why I'm... Okay, why I'm moving on my own, don't know. But I'm glad that I'm at least here. So move over to here. Keep... Go fast, sack boy. Keep moving... Ah! Jeez, do not... Like the fact that... Really? I had it. It was just for a second. I, I did something incorrectly. That kind of sucks that that happened, but now that I know. Okay, so I have to go fast enough so then I'm not hitting the bugs, but I'm also needing to go slow enough so then the bugs don't... I don't... Oh, okay. Just glad that I am doing this even at all correctly and I am seeing what I need to do. I'm still gonna guess that this is Adam and Eve and everything, but they couldn't really use Adam and Eve, so they changed the names and just kept the motif of what, what the level is supposed to be, so I'm going to guess that this is Adam and Eve. They just couldn't use Adam and Eve entirely. Okay, so if I do this correctly... Yes, I would like to be up here. Now, fall. Thank you. This game needs to work a little bit better for me, and it is working as best as it can. It just... The third game does a little bit better in certain mechanics, in certain ways, the third game um, improves a lot. The fourth game, um, Sackboy A Big Adventure, that improves a lot. And I'm glad about that. And... 
Of course, we're going on to part two. This does have a lot of, um, big mechanics in it, so a lot of, um, mechanics making the level have a lot in it, so. Yeah, thank you. So I'm gonna have to do this, I see. Yeah, if I can do this without getting burnt, that would be really fantastic because as I have been demonstrating, fire bad, fire bad. Yeah, times two, times three, whatever. The game's become a lot more um, orientated on needing other players later down the line. Like, I don't know if there's any like four player like things in this where you need actual four people to do this. Due to it, due to this game being offline and everything, I don't really have um, the means to go and do this well and everything with four players because I would have to play local four player and uh, of course. And finding four people who want to play this game, not the easiest for me. Okay, thank you. So I just keep doing this and make sure that the bugs don't like heat it because I'm not gonna be able to touch it at that point. And if I go too fast, it's gonna not work or what? Of course. So you're now made of fire. So how do I do this? Okay, so I see my my options of how I'm supposed to do this. If I go fast. Enough. Thought I was fast enough. Thought I was fast enough. And apparently not. Okay, so I actually have to wait. Waiting is important. And I can't just gun ho it like I normally do. Can't gun ho it. That yeah, now I have to go back up. Can they go any slower? And I say that as in I hope they don't go slower, but now that I've said that, they probably will go, go slow. Okay, that was good. That was good that I had more time to do that. Can I land anytime soon before the... Do not... It. Good thing that I can go on the sides. The sides actually do help me. Okay, so nothing there. And you're gonna say what? Clive needs to get a better outlook. Clive just needs to get a better outlook on life because Clive is so not helping and everything. Like, he needs to be a little bit more cheerful and be more, like, supportive in that way because his downward um, emotions and everything are not really brightening the mood of this but whatever whatever Clive wants to be I guess and I think that if I leave it here then there's only like two more levels after the level that I have to play that is actually highlighted so I am just gonna leave it here just because I do know that there is gonna be like like the last level is probably gonna be the final boss. I'm not really sure, and I don't wanna just have it be the final boss, and then it be a really short episode and everything. So I am going to be leaving it here, of course, and I will be going, but I am enjoying what I am playing, and I can't wait to see what Little Big Planet 1 is, because I've only played Little Big Planet 1 on the PSP and everything. Like, I've gotten up to a point in the PSP version, but I've never played the PS3 Little Big Planet 1 and everything. So I am excited after this to play that. Yes, there's gonna be a ton of mechanics that aren't in that one because they build off of each other. Little Big Planet 1, 2, 3, and A Sack Boy, A Big Adventure and everything do build off of each other. So no duh, it's gonna be lacking in a few areas or things and stuff here and there. But I can't wait for that game. But anyway, I am just gonna leave this episode here. And I am just going to go. See?
Yeah! If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give a boy a subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.